We offer our viewers a free subscription to the Prayer and Worship Guide, which contains the prayers for the Mass, scripture readings, as well as special seasonal prayers. It'll be a great guide for your daily prayer time. For your free copy, call us toll free at 1-855-855-MASS. That's 1-855-855-6277. Or write to Heart of the Nation, P.O. Box 14428, Milwaukee, Wisconsin 53214. To order online, visit heartofthenation.org. Your privacy is important to us and we will not share your name or contact information with any other organization. If you're joining us through YouTube, please click below to subscribe to our channel. If you receive our monthly bulletin, you may use the enclosed reply envelope to send in your regular offering. The Heart of the Nation Sunday Mass is a viewer-supported ministry. Please do your part to help keep Mass on TV and online. Thank you, and may God bless you. in the name of the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace and the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. And with your spirit. As we enter into the celebration in our gospel today, Peter approaches Jesus and says, how often must I forgive my brother? Seven times. And Jesus says, no, not just seven times, 77 times. And so we are invited to always forgive. And there is always a moment that we need to forgive and be forgiven. So we take that moment and we acknowledge that we are in need of God's love and mercy to touch our hearts and to heal us of our sin. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ have, Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at God the Father's right hand who intercedes for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. And let us lift our voices and give glory and praise to God.
and let us pray. Look upon us, O God, creator and ruler of all things, and that we may feel the working of your mercy, grant that we may serve you with all of our heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Sirach. Wrath and anger are hateful things, yet the sinner hugs them tight. The vengeful will suffer the Lord's vengeance, for he remembers their sins in detail. Forgive your neighbor's injustice. Then, when you pray, your own sins will be forgiven. Could anyone nourish anger against one another and expect healing from the Lord? Could anyone refuse mercy to another like himself? And can he seek pardon for his own sins? If one who is but flesh cherishes wrath, who will forgive his sins? Remember your last days. Set enmity aside. Remember death and decay and cease from sin. Think of the commandments, hate not your neighbor. Remember the Most High's covenant and overlook faults. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, none of us lives for oneself and no one dies for oneself. For if we live, we live for the Lord. And if we die, we die for the Lord. So then whether we live or die, we are the Lord's. For this is why Christ died and came to life, that he might be Lord of both the dead and the living. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
The Lord be with you. And with your A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to the Peter approached Jesus and asked him, Lord, if my brother sins against me, how often must I forgive? As many as seven times? Jesus answered, I say to you, not seven times, but 77 times. That's why the kingdom of heaven may be likened to a king who decided to settle accounts with his servants. When he began the accounting, a debtor was brought before him who owed him a huge amount. Since he had no way of paying it back, his master ordered him to be sold along with his wife, his children, and all of his property in payment of the debt. At that, the servant fell down, did him homage, and said, Be patient with me, and I will pay you back in full. Moved with compassion, the master of that servant let him go and forgave him the loan. When the servant had left, he found one of his fellow servants who owed him a much smaller amount. He seized him and started to choke him, demanding, Pay back what you owe. Falling to his knees, his fellow servant begged him, be patient with me, and I will pay you back. But he refused. Instead, he had the fellow servant put in the prison until he pay back the debt. Now when his fellow servants saw what had happened, they were deeply disturbed and went to their master and reported the whole affair. The master summoned him and said to him, You wicked servant, I forgave you your entire debt because you begged me to. Should you not have had pity on your fellow servant as I had pity on you? Then in anger, his master handed him over to the torturers until he should pay back the whole debt so that my heavenly father will do to you unless each of you forgives your brother or sister in your own heart. The Gospel of the Lord. The foundation for which this gospel story comes from is the notion of forgiveness, but with forgiveness, a sense of compassion. And that is something that I sometimes fail to see, especially today. I see so many people angry and upset, whether we are talking about a particular topic, losing control over someone not being fast enough or this or that, the sense of impatience seems to rule today. And yet we're called by this very parable to be compassionate, compassionate and understanding. You know, Jesus taught us a very important prayer and we pray it here at mass. But sometimes I think we pray it so quickly and sometimes without thought. The Our Father. In the Our Father, it states, Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. The whole foundation is set right in that gospel about forgiveness. The piece that I really want to point out is the piece about being compassionate. You know, there's always on television when I'm watching a certain station, they have those um, advertisements about dogs and kittens that are being abused and they're sitting there and they're shaking. My heart just goes out for them. And I, I just, I almost have to turn the station or I'm going to be giving a lot of money because I want to help out at that very moment. And you know, that's what was going on in the master's heart for that servant. That servant was groveling. He was shaking. He was at the end of his rope. He didn't know what to do. His family was going to be sold. He was going to be sold. You can only imagine. But the master had compassion. I... I think it's one of those moments where he should have embraced that so deeply and so gratefully and extended that compassion, but he didn't. He saw a fellow servant that owed him so much less and didn't extend him the same courtesy that his master extended. And isn't that true sometimes with us? I see it even in myself. Sometimes I'm given a great gift of someone being merciful and kind to me why then can't I extend the same mercy and kindness 
to someone that may be upsetting me or making me impatient or whatever it may be. Part of it is time to reflect. And so I'm going to invite all of us this Sunday, reflect upon how often do we lose our tempers? Do we become upset, so impatient that we lose the notion of being compassionate towards one another? And to forgive. You know, I don't know what's going on with those folks in front of me, and there could be a lot going on in their lives. I don't have the insight to their minds. I don't have the insight into their hearts. But too often we become so impatient and angry and we forget there are a lot of things going on in a lot of people's lives. And wouldn't you want someone to be compassionate and understanding and patient with you if you were having a difficult day? So today, take some time and reflect and ask the Lord to help you in the area of being compassionate and patient. Let us stand and let us profess our faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell, and on the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. With faith in our Lord Jesus, we present our needs and we ask the Lord to hear us. That the church will serve as a beacon of reconciliation, leading others in the ways of harmony and peace. We pray to the Lord. That all who are burdened by the weight of resentments find solace in today's lessons of compassion and forgiveness. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That God will protect the health of all essential workers as they continually put themselves at risk in service to others. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick, especially among our viewers and listeners, will know comfort in their fear. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who have died will inherit the promise of everlasting life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the needs and prayers of all of our Heart of the Nation parish members, including those joining us from the state of New Jersey, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving God, help us to be compassionate and forgiving as we lift these prayers today and always. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
Pray now, my brothers and sisters, that my offering and yours will be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Look with favor on our supplication, O Lord, and in your kindness accept these, your servants' offerings, that what each has offered to the honor of your name may serve the salvation of all through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. With the of the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For out of compassion for the waywardness that is ours, he humbled himself and was born of the Virgin. And by the passion of the cross, he freed us from unending death. And by rising from the dead, he gave us eternal life. And so, with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time that he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it. And he gave it to his disciples, and he said, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. Lord Jesus. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave the chalice to his disciples, and he said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and all of our presiding bishops and all the clergy and all of you, God's holy people. And we remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face and have mercy on us all that with the blessed Virgin Mary, the mother of God, blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, 
O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. And so we gather our hearts this day as we pray together, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to all of your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance to your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with all of you. And with your spirit. Let's turn to one another and offer each other a sign of peace, and peace to all of our viewers. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring us to life everlasting. And let us pray. May the working of this heavenly gift, O Lord, take possession of our minds and bodies so that its effects and not our own desire may always prevail in us through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. With may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. This Mass is ended. Go forth in peace and love to serve the Lord.
Have a great day, everybody. We offer our viewers a free subscription to the Prayer and Worship Guide, which contains the prayers for the Mass, scripture readings, as well as special seasonal prayers. It'll be a great guide for your daily prayer time. For your free copy, call us toll free at 1-855-855-MASS. That's 1-855-855-6277. Or write to Heart of the Nation, P.O. Box 14428, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, 53214. To order online, visit heartofthenation.org. Your privacy is important to us, and we will not share your name or contact information with any other organization. If you're joining us through YouTube, please click below to subscribe to our channel. If you receive our monthly bulletin, you may use the enclosed reply envelope to send in your regular offering. The Heart of the Nation Sunday Mass is a viewer-supported ministry. Please do your part to help keep Mass on TV and online. Thank you, and may God bless you.